very first time that I started to hit hot steel, I knew instantly this is a world of creative potential. It was just so exciting for me. One of the misconceptions about blacksmiths is that they all shoe horses and that's really not the case. There is still a lot of farriers out there that's still a required trade, but a lot of typically what's called artist blacksmiths that are doing um, architectural work as well as um, um, some utilitarian uh, uh, brackets and hinges and handles. Inspiration is everywhere. The client, they just don't have an idea of what the possibilities are, so usually the craziness comes from my end of it. You're actually molding this starting material, whatever format, bar shape it is. You have an idea, I'm gonna do this. And next thing you know, it's kind of, well, it might look good like this, and you can make that adjustment. Every piece is a thrill to see. I'm going to take these materials and make this sculptural flower. One of the starting uh, components is going to be this steel square and we're going to heat that up inside the forge here. starting to get a little cold, so what we're going to do is take it back to the forge and heat it up and get her hot again and start again. Right over to here. I'm going to do a bit of detailing right in the center. So I'm going to work on the leaves next. You see how it's not only curving, but it's actually creating a bit of a vein. Is that not exciting? Seriously, look at that. <laughs> so now we're going to use a, what's called a bending fork, and we're going to do some shaping. This is twisting now, and we're going to twist the other way. So that's essentially the, the assembly is with holes on the leaves, the bottoms of the leaves, and the tenon. They're just gonna all fit together. And then that's going to get epoxied into this stone. Not necessarily on this world, but some, some other world, there's a flower that looks just like that. <laughs> 